Okay, so here we are. Um, I've got one of the, uh, at this point, plain balusters. Looks like, looks like this, with no fluting on it at all. And we're wanting to get it to look something like this. And you can see this fluting here. It's a very mild concave uh, flute based on about an uh, inch and a half radius. And you can see that I have a baluster into this funny looking routered erector set looking machine. This machine for me is about, I don't know, about 25 years old. Uh, and it's a router jig. And it also is not computer driven, it's all gear driven. Uh, this is the dinosaur shop. I haven't gotten into the computer age in the shop yet. Of course, we're looking at all of this on this phone that's now a camera, that's now uh, Lord knows how many other things. Anyway, uh, here's the process of doing the fluting. I've already had to set up all the proper planes, the depths, and the heights, and the depth of the cut. Um, so all of that's done, and this is just now the mechanical, physical eight times I'm going to have to do this. Because there's eight flutes on each baluster, times 80 balusters, 640 times. I'm going to do this. Uh, hopefully I'll come out sane and there'll be some chocolate chip cookies at the end or something. So here we go. So this is the process that's going to have to happen eight times for each balance. So we've got three of the foods done. And I'm going to end the video because it's only going to be another five flutes. Noisy operation. Uh, so I will uh, turn off the video. You see that's how, it, how it's done. Combination of router, router jig, and handwork again. Uh, and we'll pick it up after I take it, take this baluster out of this jig and stick, stick it back into the lathe for final turning.